Yo, you were chilling in the 420 fam here and you're currently watching Take Flight. 420 fam all day, family ties. Much love. Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Wings of Take Flight. We're here, we're chilling it for the first episode of In The Cut. Where are we chilling? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before we start, cause, cause I'm dripping. Come on. It wouldn't be right unless you would drunk drip with me. Let's do it. How's the chuckle on Shout out to Take Flight. We're currently in my home gym right now. Sick, huh? Family ties. The album, uh, I'm gonna let my man do the talking right now. But yeah, first of all, we got him nice and dripped up. Nah. Welcome to my home, welcome to my family gym. And, uh, Appreciate you having me. Nah, my pleasure, bro. Family home, nah, bro. my pleasure, bro. My Good pleasure, man. It's all, all right. vibes. Two days till the album drops. Yeah, man. How the fuck you feeling right now? Bro, right, nervous and excited. Um, like, you've heard some of it. Um, Husky, all the boys have heard some of it. Everyone I've showed, I've gotten so much positive feedback and like, like, you know what I mean? Like, you've been following the scene. Like, when was the last time someone's put out a 21 song collection at one time? You know what I mean? Right. Like, I've seen like people do seven track EPs probably once every three years, you know? And I'm doing like 21. So I pretty much put my heart and soul into this album. And it like, there's no, when I was angry, I put the full anger. And when I was upset, I put every tear. And when I was happy, I put every smile like on this album, you know what That's I mean? That's it, so, with 21 tracks, I feel like you can hit every portion yeah, of your life, bro. Like, I really hit every genre. Like I. I really like to consider myself developing myself into an artist into this album. So like, I can do drill, I can do hip hop, I can do grime, I can do acoustic, I can do you know some more just like funky bop shit. I You're can really do some it club so stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do some love back, bro. Vulnerability, inner thoughts, part two is one of my favorite songs of the album, which you'll hear. Um, and that's the most vulnerable, heartfelt love ballad like '90s shit you hear, man. So like. Yeah, I'm excited, bro. I just can't wait for everyone to hear it. I'm very excited. Two days, bro. Just very passionate, bro. Two, two, days, two days, days. Two, two days. motherfucking days. All right, before we go into the album, we'll start a little bit earlier. Yeah. The last four months of COVID. Yeah. Shit's been crazy, bro. Yeah, You've been has. stuck here in the home gym. Yeah. Last COVID, what were you doing? You are on Bender's Galore, right? That yeah, was- well, pretty much. Like, all of 2020, like... Man, I just got lost in the source. Like, I've said it many times in interviews. I won't go too deep into it. No, I just, there was a period in my life where I was just lost in the source partying, and then... I moved back home and started writing this album, started working on, you know, more family orientated goals. And then that's what's led me towards here. Like already off the album, there's been a hundred grand from my mum. My brother's moved out, he's got his house at Parramatta now, shout out to Brock. So, you know, there's been a lot of financial success this year with the Henny and Reefer jars, the Henny and Reefer bombs as well. It's already been a good it's already been a good year. So to just end it with this, to tie it up with the family and the fans and that, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's been a really good year, man. It's, You've gone it's come a long way, family, yeah. We, we've gone straight away. We fucked off all that bullshit of COVID and all the bending, and we've just come straight back to family. And yeah, as you can see, bro, I'm just down here pumping weights and pumping bongs and pumping bro. music, bro, nonstop. Like, so it's fucking curls before. Come it's grind, mate. Hey, we got proof. I don't know if there was on footage, but like I we killed the whole stack bro. for at least a good five, bro. I was gonna pop arm, man. Yeah, look, I'm not at that level yet, but we'll get there. We'll I get was there. on some Arnold Schwartz smoker, like I was like fucking uh, Ganja, Ganja, blah, 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 blah. what a tongue twister. Ganja Schwartz Is that how you say it? Would that be how you say it? Is that your alter ego right now? Gani. That's your new alter Gani. ego. Gani Schwarzenegger. Gani Schwarzenegger. Gani. Schwarzenegger. Gani. 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 So that's it, man. That moment, we're not, we're not going to have to dive into it, but you, you featured a, a little bar on them, bigger they are, harder they fall. Yeah. Talking about that situation. How pivotal was that to how you are now? Like the whole family life, you've changed your life around when it comes to your fitness and your health. Man, like mentally and physically already, like you feel the difference straight away. It's so crazy because like anyone who's been through drugs or takes drugs or has gone through a period of drugs will understand like while you're on them you don't realize at the time what you're doing and how you feel and how crazy you're acting and it's only when you come down or you jump off or you take that you can realize that what you realize going what's going on you know what i mean so like for me it was once i stopped and had this like, a, like i got really bad bro i was living at like different meritons and i was at the zetlins bro i got like, yeah, I literally got I literally got put out by police, but with a needle because I was acting crazy, racked off my head, like not sleeping in that. And that's so, what you reference on and that, that song. And that's what I reference on that song. Yeah. I lost it all just doing cocaine with a chick. Yeah, yeah. I lost it all that day, and then like you know, I had to start from the top again, go through like you know some some hard stuff. And um, you know what? At the end of the day, I, that's why I say I wouldn't change it all. But you can see like, you can see the growth, man. Because like, the bigger you are, the harder you'll fall. And, like it took me a bit of a lesson to learn that, but now like. Now I'm 27 in the prime of my life, ready to like have a family and ready to like, you know, set up a future and that coming from like a high school dropout. That's 
That's a good So that, like, I good, hope yeah. that that, hope that like, you know, like this journey in front of the camera isn't just mine. Like it's for some kid to watch and maybe be inspired too, or even some yeah, adult so to watch and just fucking rem reminisce. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm just a person for the people that I consider myself, man. Like I'm an artist, artist for the people. And we can see it, bro. Now, thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Bro, You're a very genuine dude, bro. I appreciate bro, that. <laughs> bro, same as you, man. Like the person I've seen now, this is the first time I'm meeting, by the way. There's no, you might've seen this on live before, but this is the first time. Only through COVID did we link up on Instagram. And even then it's not much. Um, just before you mentioned wanting to have a family and whatnot, right? You planned this with your, your ex missus. Yes. Can you see that happening anytime soon? Like, are you out there looking for a girl? Is it whatever comes? It, it, it's just whatever at the moment. Like even with my ex, like <coughs> I have a lot of love for her. Like in the, in the album you will hear, there's three different parts, there's three different songs. One's called Blueberry Muffin. One's called Inner Thoughts Part Two. Both, both yeah, bro, and one's you called You and Yourself. Yeah. And um, all three of them, are about stages of a relationship, like the early love, like the the lovebird stage. That everyone feels. That everyone that feels, everyone like feels. that first week, yeah. the butterfly feeling Ooh, stage. Love that, this person. And it's called Blueberry Muffin because that was her nickname that I had for her. She was my Blueberry Muffin. Cute, bro. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. It's being like, that's what I mean. This album is very raw, it's as right. honest as it gets, yeah. Then Inner Thoughts is um myself being vulnerable and sharing about how I was feeling like it wasn't really working. Yeah. And then you and yourself is when it, it finally ended and you know, and now we're at a place where we're kind of talking and we're in this confusing place that's at the moment right. now. So who knows where that's gonna go. At the moment, man, I'm just focused on like, like I said, my family. 100%. Whether that family extends and becomes a, a wife and kids soon or in 10 years, I don't know. The day will but, come. But right now, come. my mum and my father and my brothers and sisters and cousins and un uncles and aunties, like anyone who's my blood right now is my concern. And even that's Benny and Husky and Wombat and all the boys, like, you know, I'm just focused on my mini little family right now. and. Bro, it's good to As see, it gets man. bigger, it'll get better. Yeah, hundred percent. All it, right. Man. So we got this shows coming up. Well, how long you got? Two months to the tour. Two yeah, months. I think so. I, mean, I just did. Tour? I just did like a fucking sold out tour. Right. Just finished one, but yeah, two months to the tour. What are your again. thoughts on going from from this environment, stuck inside, getting shit done, to going out with the boys on tour? Chance of Bender's making a turn. You're gonna hit the hit the gym in every state you go to. Yeah, like look, there's 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 definitely a balance. Like look, that's what I mean. Like to keep behind it with all the fans. Like yeah. there's, there's definitely. But there's times, all I've learned with getting older and maturity is there's times and moments for things. Yeah. Like there's times to enjoy things and party and there's times to work hard and be disciplined. So what I've learned, like looking straight directly to the camera is basically what I'm saying like is there's a time in your life where you can say, hey, let's party now. And you have some small shit little party or you skip that party for three, four years and you have the biggest, fattest, coolest party because you grinded, bro. you know what I mean? 100%. And that's kind of the mind state we're at right now. That's we're kind of like, cool. you know, like, yeah, we're going to have our parties. It's got to happen. We're going to have you our, can't not celebrate our something like the this. Aussie term bender. We're going to have that here and there at some oh, stage. Gosh. But right now, man, like it's very weird and family and sober, yeah. mental health orientated at the moment. Beautiful, yeah, which, which, is, which is nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I've got so many 420 fan members who don't smoke. And then you know what, they still I'm 420 family, you know, you know what I mean? That's still family, you know what I mean? Like you're still fam. 100%. Family is, it doesn't it doesn't need to be blood, you know? I know so many people who don't have family yeah. who sometimes can relate to having a brother or sister that isn't their blood, you know? So like, yeah. family is whatever you want it to be, my brother, you know That's what I mean? It. Good to hear, bro. That's it, man. One night only tour, a bit more intimate than your last one. Yeah. Is that for a reason? Yeah, you purposefully. Wanted, yeah? Yeah, it's just, why. we just did, we, we did these two side out animal theater shows and there were Huge, crazy mosh bits and that. And I was just like, this is family ties. Um, like it's already like this COVID vaccine thing where people are gonna be, it's gonna be so hard to do. Let's just do this one night only thing for each, for the fans. Bro, the energy- He's an exclusive, these... just quickly before you go, Brisbane's gonna get added some more tickets apparently because apparently Brisbane's been allowed to have more tickets added to the show. So if this comes out before right Brisbane- there, Brisbane, yeah, Brisbane- Get your fucking tickets, yeah, you're bro. You probably got like, they're probably either already sold out or like they're being sold right now. So go get your tickets if you're from Brisbane. What do you prefer then? You've, you've played, what was that? Where was the show where you had the big 420 up on the wall? Was that Melbourne? That or was, was that bro, I played so many shows I don't remember that. That was Melbourne. That that was was that, that looked like a festival, bro. That was, it was, it felt like it. There that was, like a festival. there was three and a half thousand of my own fans there nice, watching my show, bro, at an outdoor stage with like, you know the, you know the Batman symbol shining That's what I mean, that huge It was the 420 fans symbol shining on the Melbourne city nightlife. Yeah. While I played to three and a half thousand people in the street. Husky just messaged me, shout out Husky. What's good? Going to see Roman to talk some shit. Watch you in an hour or so. What should I say to Husky, guys? Um, take flight. <laughs> I video. Yeah, and it'll feel like he'll feel like get this video as well. Like, I'm literally live right now. We're trying to do an interview, bro. What's and good? we're doing an interview, and you're messaging me. So, uh, 
I love you, but uh, what am I doing in an hour? I'll probably be here, like, still all recording, so just call me then. Love you, Benny. There you go. <laughs> hey, we just send that to Ben. There, but there you go. go. So, energy wise, right? Yeah. What do you prefer, the bigger or the smaller shows? Oh, energy wise, like shit. Like obviously the biggest shows are huge energy. People yelling at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get that, like for example, when we played that three and a half thousand person Melbourne show, and you hear people go, raindrop. Drop top! Like, yes, thank you. Thank you. Huge. It's huge. huge. But I do love the intimacy of the eye to eye contact you can get out of like a smaller thousand man show. You know what I mean? And like the the crowd control you can really have over a smaller bunch, you know what I mean? No matter the size, we already know. You all bring the energy. Yeah, we do. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah. One one moment I remember in particular was you played at the Ivy, yeah. Mm. Bro, you had everyone there going crazy. You jumped off the fucking Ivy roof. I did. I did. Which is wild, right? Which I got fined for. I, mm. I, they told me not to before it. I just said, said I was going. I got to cop the fine. Yeah, I, I, just, I, the I, fine. I just said that's fine. Just tell me what's the cost. Like, but I'm seeing it. that happen was crazy. Mainly because uh, I used to go to the Ivy when I was younger. Yeah. If, to get in the Ivy, I got a few tattoos, button up shirts, the days, maybe even a bit of makeup. Thank on you, the Sydney. Mom, my Sydney man, was up. I thought that was so iconic too, because I remember back in the day you couldn't get into Ivy Bro, if you had neck tats. You couldn't get into Ivy unless you were wearing a button up, and I had. That thing packed out with every motherfucker is tears galore. Tearing that place apart to the bro. max. It was packed to the rafters, bro. You could not breathe in that bitch. But how bro. does that make you feel that you changed the narrative on not you're not the sole person, but you played a big part in changing the narrative yeah, it's a blessing on Aussie rap? It's a blessing. It's a blessing and like I get a lot of messages like which is like such very humbling to me because I'm not the kind of guy who's like, I want to be the only winner. Like I want everyone yeah. to win. So I love getting messages that fans go like Bro, I'm so glad I found your music because it's led me to find Husky, or it's yeah. led me to find Young Lips, or it's led me to right. find Wombat, or it led me going. to find Lissy, or like. And the scene is just growing. Just featured get, with this yeah, girl yeah. and she sings so good, blah, 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 things like that. So, like, yeah, like, I, I love seeing the scene growing more and more and more every time. Like, I'm not the kind of guy who's here going, like, bro, I want it to just be this me. Is mine. You know what but I mean? But it was yeah, good yeah, to yeah. see you're a pivotal part of that. And, look, you've been doing it. Yeah, for a but, but at the same time, I'm very humbled and proud and honored to be. Like to be like just being straightforward, like in the humblest way, like just being honest, like being a very pivotal part in yeah. this movement of Aussie rap. From women winning wordplay to now, Huge whether road. you love me or hate me, you got to say like I've been here and I've been a part of it for the past three to four years. No one can say otherwise. Yeah, no one can say otherwise. See yeah. it. Keeping on the show topic, obviously we could easily have our own homegrown festival touring. Yes. No, it's just that easily, yes. easily. Yes. The last one I can remember that I can think of Sprung Festival. I think that was in 2017, like Illy Hilltop Hoods. The, yeah. whole, the whole genre has changed since then, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you could put on a 420 fan festival, who would be the artist to choose? Oh, bro, I'd just have everybody. Just, it, just it, spit a it, it'd just be like a fucking, what's the one called they do in America that's got everyone on it, bro? Uh, rolling Loud? Yeah, that's I, I, I would just do like 420 fan would just be Rolling Loud. I would just hit up everyone in Australia that I think's popping, like, and just be like, bro, what, idea, bro. what's the stack you want? What's, what's your pay rate? Bro, just do it. I'm telling you, if anyone can do it, you can do it. I promise if, you, if, if no one gets to I it, pro I promise you, we want it. We already like we want to do it. But this is a thing, and that there's so much politics in the scene. Bringing everything, like I don't, I'm not a part of it, but with a lot of the stuff from the Western Sydney side with some of the boys, there's a lot of the with the drill scenes, a lot of politics and stuff. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard to bring people be together. What you're doing. And like when you have when you're not from the area, you know, you don't you don't have a place to say, hey, let's put this guy and this guy together on stage. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So like whether it will happen. Everybody together, I don't know. Two days. Would it, would it be good to happen? Days. Lovely, it would be the best thing for the scene and I'd love to be a part of it, but I guess time will tell, bro. Okay. Promo promoters, where's the where's the billionaires out, bro? He's got the money it's to put that together, bro. There's gotta be some people who know they wanna cash out on this, bro. Where's the Australian Richard Branson at, ready to put on like an Australian <laughs> rap like, tour? There's gotta festival. be someone yeah. out there. If, yeah, you're, if you're listening right now, please. I'm fucking, right, I'm check this rolly, bro. I'd like to say I'd invest after this, but take flight, got to pay me a bit more before. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, my man, like, can we just appreciate how small my man's wrist is? Like, oh, my, whole, my whole watch and did like a 360 <laughs> flip on this man's wrist. COVID did me a number, bro. I lost a lot of weight, all right? It's all good. This man's slim. You go hard. We're really slim, shady stand up. Like, you take the next question. Yeah. All right, seen you out and about Husky lately, right? You had some fans stopping you here, there, and everywhere. Obviously, at the level you're at, you've got a lot of people around no matter where you go. Does that change the way you move these days, or do you just. You don't go with the flow. If you're out, you're out. Like, can you go to the movies? Can you go to Woolies? All good? Oh, yeah, like, you can, you can't. Like, you, you, it just depends on the person you are. Like, I know some artists who hate, even like, even when it's friendly, like, not confrontation, but like, just interaction. Mm. They just, they're just like, awkward. Whereas me, I'm someone who's a very sociable person. So, like, I'm actually the kind of guy, like, if I notice someone staring at me going, is that chilling there? I'll go, yeah, it's me. What's good? Yeah, 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 yeah. like old like so. Yeah. So I guess everyone's different. It just depends on the person you are. So like, do I move differently? As in like, 
do I keep security and roll with some boys <laughs> and have a few phone calls to make because I've got a couple of nice pieces that I walk around with? Absolutely. You got 4K but, in the boys or you got security? Yeah, security yeah. No comment. <laughs> but, uh, but like, as for who I am as a person, yeah, bro, I'm still just kicking around the area, bro. I'm still approachable. I, I love meeting fans, bro. If you ever see me on the street and you want to say hello, like, by all means, man, like, I love... I love meeting people and saying hello. Heck like, I love me. It's 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 four twenty family. So like, yeah. if you're part of this family, like, don't be shy to like come up and let me know. Say hello. Say what's popping, man. Let's do it. Say hello to chilling. Hello, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. All right, talking about that real quick. I heard you mention once that you signed the back of someone's ultrasound. They told you they're gonna call your kid Blake. Their kid Blake. Um, I remember Wombat. It was with me and Wombat toured. It was that tour. So if that that fan, if you know, if you know, if you are that fan with the ultrasound that I signed, hit me up. Because um, let Is me your know. Kid's name Blake? Let me know what's okay. popping. Did you still name him Blake? Let me know what happened. But also, yeah, um, shout out to Tamara Lee, who's uh having a kid, and their middle name of their kid's gonna be Blake as well. So shout out, uh, shout out to them, three. Tamara Lee. You got any Blakes? Bro, a lot, lot of Blakes, bro. Multiplying out there. To be honest, I've never had a friend named Blake, so the Blakes are gonna start. Oh, friend, bro. What you mean? Oh, bro, let's go. Family, bro. We family. take a flight, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll move on to the album a little bit, yeah? That's yeah, what, that's well, let's what, talk, let's that's the business, that's the business sound. Let's that's go. Right. Let's so go. we had um, the Octagon Full Circle came in top five, yeah? Yeah. Does any of that reflect the way that you go in and make an album now? Does it put pressure on you? Nah, because to me, honestly, the Octagon and Full Circle were when I was going through like those coke phases. So okay. to me, I was kind of like just slapping together projects. Yeah. To me, this is it. Like, I, I, I would like, as an artist, common sense, obviously I'm hoping to get a charting spot. Of I'm hoping to try and do my best of my ability, but I've literally made this record with no expectation apart from just literally to make what I want to make. Yeah. Which where there were many conversations with my managers about some of the songs on the album and some of the ways I approached some things and some of, there were many arguments yeah. about some of the things that but I, I stood my, I stood staunch on some shit and like I put this record out with my heart and soul exactly how how Blake wanted to put it out. So yeah. like this is a very true representation of me as a person, even down to there's a side project on there that I'm I won't say too much about it because the album's coming out, but like there's a few things like you'll enjoy. I would recommend anybody who watches this just like if you listen to the album. All 21 songs, play them start to finish in one little listen, you know what I mean? Because from the intro to the outro, it's a it's a roller coaster for a reason. So uh yeah, man, Thank it's cool. You. Um, there's 21 tracks, bro. 21 yep. tracks, huge album. I went through this morning and had a look at some of my old favorites, like Gangster Gangster. We're talking Get Rich or Die Trying, the documentary. Yeah. Yours has got more tracks than those. Right? Yeah, no, it's crazy. It's, well it's, it's already it's already going nuts, it's like actually already, ridiculous. yeah. It's actually it's been going crazy already, but like it, the 21 songs thing, I think that makes a difference. Like, I really just was like, bro, does like, I don't know, I made that many good songs that I was like, just, just put them all out. Like, yeah. why give the fans, like, why hold something back from the fans and be so pretentious or like, yeah, let's be so perfect. Like, let, let's take it back to the days of rap. Like, remember the Eminem, Bro, like, huge. without without me album with the red curtain call and there was like 20 songs and there were skits and Bro, it was double been... sides. Like, oh. remember those days, brother? I don't know what happened to them, Yeah, well, they're back. No, what I was going to say, they're back, like, baby, they're back. Little bits like that can bring it back. Yeah, back, mi- mixtape days was only what? How many years ago? Eight years ago. Bring mixtape. Damn, days. son, they, where'd they, you find this? Yeah, bro, everyone everyone was, remember that sound vibe? Bro, that was huge back then. So <laughs> it's, it's not far off. You can bring it back. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred. Then saying that you did twenty one tracks. Most albums you got to cut some songs, yeah. Yeah. How many songs did you have to do to be able to cut to twenty one? We did. We did. We did twenty six, and we cut it to twenty one. All right. So. And then there's also there's also exclusive I'll give you now there's like a there's a deluxe version later in the year yeah. that's coming with some extra tracks that are featuring some international artists and I also have been chatting with some some very big names that I can't name but like yeah there's some things coming okay. that are gonna like like the album rolls out and basically this continues over the next few months this whole little family so it's just tie keep growing. yeah yeah it's just gonna keep growing yeah it's a, it, it's like a residual growth thing yeah you're gonna watch it unfold slowly it's gonna be yeah, a nice cool, little bro. nice little puzzle piece you're gonna start to see connect yeah. Okay. I didn't get clearance to listen I to love it. the wrist shake, by the way, every time I see it. It's not to show yeah, it off. Bro. I love how you so shake the rolling every two <laughs> seconds. Goes, anyway, so, uh, so... How much am I wearing right now? Uh, you got, you've currently got about 35 to 40, give or take, like because of depreciation of value. How like, fast can we run? No, my rolling. How, no. how fast can we run? <laughs> <laughs> not as fast yeah, as me, but I love to get my Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're good. Um, so I didn't get clearance to listen to the full album this early, obviously, but I got a bunch of, a bunch of listens in. Yep. So I can't say what my favourite is of the album, but do you have a favourite that... I know you want people to listen from start to finish, but do you have a favorite of the song that you think people need to listen really into that song? Every line. Ah, oh, the intro. Yeah? Ah, uh, but then at the same time, Inner Thoughts Part 2. No, I've heard that one. Then at the same time, You and Yourself. Okay. Like, I, I, just, I really just think you need to consume this project. Yeah. I really just think like you really like, well, it depends. Like, if you're a casual listener, then 
then by all means just go skip through and find what you want to hear. But like, if you're a rap fan, like just, even if you're not a fan of me, if you're just a rap fan, like I genuinely like challenge you, like take, listen to this album start to finish, take the time out of your day to go stream this shit start to finish and enjoy it. Cause like, it, I'm very, very proud of it. And I know, like I know when people hear it, that if they don't like it, it's not rap fans. You got a favorite collab? I know you got, what? We got Wombat that you've announced. Wombat, Husky, Lissy, HP Boys. Anyone I'm missing that you've actually talked about so far? I'm gonna get high Sydney 100%. One of the highest energy tracks, like so the hardest track on the album, yeah. it hasn't been named yet, is a feature from Shadow, the UK Shadow. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, Black Genie, the song yeah, by Shadow yeah. Black Genie. We did like a bit of a remix of Black Genie, okay. Shelling Remix, which is featured, uh, it's called Von Dutch. Heavy. You might heard a little sample of that, but um, yeah, that's that's probably my favorite high energy track on the album, and that's that's a little feature. But the deluxe stuff is what I'm really saving for, which has got the big names, and then which we can't talk couple, about. A couple of female artists as well, so that gives yeah. a bit of a hint on some things that could be popping there. But yeah, it, it, it's huge, man. There's a, there's some deluxe stuff coming after. So the shadow track, that's going to be what you imagine to be the biggest live energy track. You're out touring. That's I just watch it. That's going to be that's like gonna be that's going to be where people get injured. Well, I'm going to show you right here. We're Unfortunately, gonna, we're going to flash to a. A footage of the concert in the future, Shadow Song, gonna be the hardest, the hardest. Go, flash. I know. All right, hectic. Huge versatility, bro. I know you yeah. mentioned it, huge versatility. You got hip hop headbangers. Yep. You got bar slappers. Yep. You've even got auto tune melodies, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. You've dived into that. Yeah, so the Fisherman's Friends project, so the side project, Fisherman's Friends. Yeah. That's um, myself, my brother, and bad rapper. Yeah. Where we kind of do this auto tune style thing and we're fucking around. But even Dreaming of This Day has Dreaming that. Dreaming of This Day has the auto tune. On the way here, I was part. like, I but was it's dreaming beautiful of this day. Uh, trying to uh, leave yourself, trying to see was, Mary Jane. Uh, it's an answer to a day. I love her. She, she love her. her. That's my girl. That's my girl. Uh, I got demons on my brain. Right. Yeah. I listened to this song like twice. That's when I got the song listening. And he already knew it. Right. Comes rocking up in the hood, but yeah, right, nah. right, right. but like I genuinely, yeah, like that's why I like to consider myself like sometimes maybe not so much diff. I wouldn't say like different, but like I'm a rap artist that like and feel free. I, I'm like down to be challenged on this if I'm wrong, but like I consider myself very unique in the sense that like there aren't many that can in a very well way pull off the drill, then pull off the boom bap, then auto tune some shit, then do a love ballad then play a guitar lick and do an acoustic melody and then just hit them with like a fucking four and a half minute bar song of just straight lyricism with boom bap and then get trap on them as well. Like, Look, tra off the top I, of my head, I, I, I no, feel, no yeah. offense to any artists out there, but right now I can't think of anyone who, who, I can, who I've heard that's done them all. And yeah, well, yeah, and well. me no disrespect either, because if there is, right. that's what I mean, yeah, that's what I mean, like, I, I can already, like, there's already, I can already just, in my head, name a few, like, shit, like, there's a few that are couple that I know that are so versatile as yeah. well, but all I'm trying to say is, is, yeah, I strive as an artist to be the most versatile, maybe not the best, like, at niche one thing, yeah, yeah. but the most versatile. And do good at each one of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, and be able to do everything at a good, at a good level. Beautiful. Did you go in the studio with that thought? You're like, I want to show everyone how versatile I like, Yeah, okay. definitely. You did? I, that's why I wanted the family ties, like, I wanted, Every, I didn't want to make an album for somebody. I wanted to make an album for everybody. Yeah. That's why it's family tired. That's why I had to be so versatile. Like it had to be. Perfect. I had to push myself as an artist. Like I had to get out of my comfort zone yeah. and make Inner Thoughts part two. And like yeah. built out the, like, like I'm afraid. Like I had to build right. that out. And I nailed it. And right. I nailed the that, notes, that, bro. That live, once you I, get I, the crowd sing, singing. I, I did singing lessons, but to be fair, like I was learning how to you sing. You gotta do it, bro. Like that. Yeah, but that yeah, live, yeah. once you get the whole crowd singing, it's gonna be like your hey. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know, yeah. But another level, bro. I'm excited, level. yeah. yeah. Um, more songs. You, you track with Izzy Gibbs. You talked in 2019 about wanting to work with Izzy Gibbs. How did it come about for Like, what, what? Two well, years, two it, years. It, and it's it. crazy because, like, so, when I was younger, I used to watch Izzy Gibbs' mm -hmm. Road Rage and JDZ Media. Of course. And then I ended up with two Road Rages, and then, like, my Road Rages now have, like, millions of views. Huge, so, me and him had just kind of chatted through socials, and then... There was just this one day, I remember, I can't remember what exactly started the conversation, but it was either a story I posted or that he posted where one of us just was like, big love, my G, keep your head up kind of thing, or one of us put something up. Yeah. And from there, we just kind of eventuated chatting and I kind of was like, bro, like when I was younger, like, you were like the guy, I'm pretty sure he was like bigging me up. Now I think about it, yeah, he was bigging me up. And, and you were trying to show him. And I was trying to tell him like, nah, bro, like, big up you, you know what I mean? Like, you were inspiring me back in the day. Yeah. And then we just kind of started vibing, went from there and then, yeah, we just back and forth the lyrics and then, bro, he, he, Izzy Gibbs is kind of very similar to me, bro. Like, you just give the guy a beat and he just shells it. Like, he just punches that in and 
Send, right. send this back and like, burn a clip within a, within a week like you turn that over. So like, shout not, out Easy Gibbs, fucking, that, that's a broski right there as well. That's a, that's a family tie right there in the UK, shout out to Easy. When you hit UK, on tour with you or what? Oh, he'll definitely, oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, oh, I hope so, fuck, definitely. I'll be definitely hitting him up, just roll me, roll me a zoo, he's my guy. <laughs> I was, we were on the DMs out there, but stop it, that, me and Izzy got our own, we had our own private conversations, so, alright? Me and Izzy, shout out to Izzy Gibbs, bro, if you know, you know. Right, you said that in 2019. Is there anyone that you want to work with that you haven't even talked to yet that you want to manifest from this point onwards that you can say, all right, let's do it? Oh, it's such a like out of this world spectrum goal, but Drake. Anything's possible. Drake. Drake or Jack Cole. That, they're, they're the two guys. Drake or Jack Cole. Like that's just like, like it's totally out of this spectrum and like if it was to happen, I would probably cry, like to be genuinely honest. But like, I'm sure even so 10 happy. years ago, you imagine like, yeah, Drake right or Jack Cole would be the, the, the dream. But like at the same time though, like I'm living the dream like because I'm healthy. I'm doing what I love for a living and I've got a like happy family and a, and a good fan base. So like, you know, don't take things for granted at the same time. Like yeah. the dream collab is to work with Drake, but like I'm living the dream as I speak. So family's like, living good. Yeah, 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 good. yeah. The family's good. So I'm living the dream. So like whether I collab with Drake and Jake Cole and like, like, yes, it's a goal, but. <laughs> In saying that, tripping. Drake, Jake Cole, if you come across this video, let's get it on, bro. Yeah, let's yeah, but I ain't tripping. If you, but if you don't come across it, I ain't tripping. Because I don't expect you to. You're too busy and famous fucking bitches, whatever you Drake, Jake Cole guys are doing. Look at Drake, bro. You got a beard, fly as fuck. Bro. I, I, I like Drake. His transformation was crazy too. I know you're. I feel like he got a beard implant or something. Like he went from like no beard Drake, like little boy, to just like. Straight Arabian. Rick Ross, Arab like straight Arabian. Huge. Bro, that man has been multiple different uh, like. Characters? Like he's been Jamaican, then he was like full like UK drill. And he can do whatever the fuck Then he, he wants, was like bro. full like Rastafari, now he's going like full Arab thing. And he makes it work, bro. Regular like, use of look like Hamza Habibdi, please. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, everything like, oh, he's the best. <laughs> Shout out Juicy Drake, bro. He's one of my favorites. Surely he's going to watch this interview. Yeah. He's definitely not going to watch this interview. <laughs> oh, definitely bro. has no idea who the fuck we are. Oh, um, in saying that, bro, that's, that's your overseas. Is there anyone here that you haven't worked with yet that you, you really feel like you want to get it in with? Like, I've seen you in our comments alone talking to 360, B-Wise, A-Girl. I, uh, well, I can confirm there's a little exclusive, like one of the deluxe, like, without giving away too much, A-Girl's involved in the album on the deluxe. Ooh, so uh, so I, am, I am working with A-Girl, okay. yes. Um, but uh, 360, yeah, we're chatting. We're, there's been chats of a collab for 2022. Um, he's an OG man. Like him and Cursor, him and Cursor like started the like like the generation of ours. If you know what I mean? Like the the young guys that wanted to be like them. 100%. So like, but both of them deserve their flowers while they're alive. Like you know. And what it's I mean? funny that you. And have it's, so, it's so funny that like because I just see like I know there's a big like Cursor 60 split mm -hmm. like with the fans and divide, but like I just see them both as goats. Like they both were just. They both uplifted the scene to a point that took it to a point where like where it's at now, where there's like fifty Aussie rappers. You know what I mean? Huge. They were the only now. two at the Huge time that were like now. only really doing anything apart from like the the horror show, the Blitzen SOS and Hilltops that were very mainstream. Yeah. And they were these two underground guys. Then sixty blue it's, cursor it's took over the underground, Huge. and they just pioneered those two things and like. The lane is just open for every person from here to go even further and take it to further heights. So like, you know, and it, bro, and it started with Trem and Brad goes, you half I like half I don't get back. Do I get back to legal commission? Like you can go. Do, like, do we, do that's we, only but it's funny you know how I mean? fast like, it's growing yeah. right now. In the last five years, how much have you grown? How much has the scene grown in Sydney? Let alone it's breaking into other states now. You know it's what I mean? huge, yeah. It's, 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 worldwide. Other states, it's, all, it's worldwide. Like fucking I was doing an interview with Apple yesterday yep. with a girl from some girl from America. I saw Lips was doing some stuff with Ebro. Um, one four is like constantly got that UK love. Of Fucking course. Kid Leroy, like I know everybody tries to play off like Kid Leroy's not Australia. Like Bro. Kid Leroy's like the most famous person in the world, and he's Aussie. So like, if, any, if there's anybody who wants to claim the most famous Australian rapper, it's Kid Leroy. <laughs> like you can't really argue with that. He's like hanging out with Justin Bieber. He's I'm sitting in my garage with take flights. So Kid the Ray one, <laughs> chilling at zero. Bro, this is still a pinnacle right now. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's nah. a Justin Bieber's house. Bro, We're if, in my if garage. You, if you just seen Justin Bieber's house, I'd totally let you get Yeah, bro, and if you could go to Justin Bieber to get an interview, I'd expect you to turn one down too. Yeah, I'm going to fight for um, Beebs, where you at? We've reached out to Beebs, Beebs Drake. We 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 reaching bad, yo. Bro, this is this is, this is a manifestation reach. right here. Beebs, Drake. Um, just the laws of attraction, baby, right here. All right, there we go. And from there, man, there are other people that you want to work with. Has anyone ever like jumped into your DMs that you didn't expect? And you yeah. were like, what the fuck? Yeah, like JK, like JK from the UK has showed yep. love. Um, I've had like, 
Ah, oh, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. That's I've had DJ DJ Premier has been one that showed love. Just um, randomly. Yeah, just just randomly, just like just popped up. Like CT Fletcher, who's a massive bodybuilder. Like I don't know if you know who he is, but he loves no, my I'm shit. Not much like of a bodybuilder. Yeah, he's a, he's a big bodybuilder guy. He loves my stuff. Um, all the footy boys pump my brain. Like James, shout, shout out to Desco. Fucking, I, I know that he pumps my stuff. Shout out Ponga. Let's go. Shout out. Um, it's good Shout to out see Payne that. Haas, all the boys, like yeah, like and then me and that me and Lissy had that track run up the ball, which is full and oh, our own references. And we, and we know all the boys, it. like I know Lissy knows the troll, shout out the troll Mitchell and that. Like it's kinda like we're building like we're developing slowly like America in the UK did. Like see how America affiliates with the basketball players yeah. and then the UK affiliates with the soccer players, like we're, we're starting to merge with the NRL players, you know what I mean? Like we're, we're starting mean. to follow the scenes, we're just slowly behind. I'm just waiting for this to get legal, then I'm becoming a billionaire and I'm going to the Bahamas, it's baby, not trust me. Off, yeah, yeah, once it's recreationally legal, I'm just I'm just taking my cash, I'm running. Just record songs. I'm Usain Bolting. Yeah, oh yeah, I make music forever, yeah. but yeah, I'm Usain Bolting with my medicinal weed company and just running away. <laughs> bro, I want shares in that, it's gonna be good. Yeah, we'll go hard, yeah, 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 we'll yeah, we'll, yeah. I'll give you a split, bro, you can invest. Talking about run the ball, whose idea between you and Lissy came up with, all right, let's pump up a whole bunch of footy footy bars, a few cricket bars in there, but who pumped, whose idea? It's funny you said the cricket thing, so it was my idea, the footy bar thing, yeah. but I threw the random cricket bar in there, and he actually, like, I got no fucking and, and he messaged me back saying like, bro, what is some cricket, he literally messaged me and goes, tell me some cricket player names, so that I, that I can make a bar. Fair. So I was like, I named three names, and to his credit, yeah. he used none of those names, found his own name, and, and did that. Bat me off like Michael Clark. It's and kind of hard for me to find the bar, but bro, I like the spark. That bat me off was the funniest part of yeah, the Yeah, bro, it's, it's the best into, part. Straight on. into Adder Fox the card, I can't catch you. Front row, talked in half, Scott Sattler. Like, nah. By the time this is out, you would already Shout out Scott Sattler. Like, anyone remember that tackle? Into, bro, if you're an NRL fan, this is for older people, but like the Scott Sattler tackle on. um. That Roosters winger in the grand look, final. I ain't see it, but we're gonna find it. We're gonna put it right here. Scott, oh, Scott, okay. just look up Scott Sattler try saving tackle on YouTube, and you'll find it, and you'll get my reference in the bar. Then the whole song, catch every bar, catch every. <laughs> if you can, no one catches every one of my you, bars. I can, guarantee. If, if you can catch, you all miss my bars. If you can catch every player in that song and put it in the comments of this YouTube, we'll send you out. I don't know some hectic. hectic. There you go. Take. For, I'm holding to that. He's gonna send you something. 100%. So if he doesn't, I'm gonna like have to hold him to that. Hundred percent. We'll send you. The, nah, no Rolex. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> cut. We're doing a cut. And cut. <laughs> All right. Real quick. If we had a camera here, Lissy was there, would you run it straight we do. in? We have, we have five now, cameras If Lissy was here, if Lissy was here, would you run it straight in for the camera? For the fans? Well, me and Lissy have done a good and a slap to each other. But I heard about and that. And he pumped the fuck out of me. I got him a good one. I got him a pretty good one. But like, as you can imagine, Lissy's size, my of course, size. Of course, like, of I don't even really need to explain the rest of the of story. Course, Our course. slaps were a bit different in the size and how much comparison. I think I was bruised for like a week. And this was pre- And I was blind back. after the show, like this is after we'd just done two back-to-back -back shows, finished the tour. And like, you were lit too, sure. Yeah, and I was like, cause I'm a very humble guy, so yeah. like because he toured with me, like he brought all these boys there and like- You can slap you know, the fuck out uh, of me. Yeah, everywhere, <laughs> no, like everywhere we've been, like yeah, when yeah. we finish shows, you just go back to your own hotel. Yeah. So like because the tour was ended and I was in his hometown, I went down to the Airbnb and we just partied. Yeah, we, so he, gave, he gave me the good and the slap and I got him the good and the slap back and it was good. But yeah, yeah. would I run the ball at Lissy? Would you run it straight at him, bro? Just for, just for a bit of footage, you know? We want to see, like, we wanna would, see you take him down. Like, would, can I tackle Lissy? Yeah, or did, bro. Oh, can, we, can he run at me? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I can tackle because I was good at tackling technique. I'm a leg chopper. Oh, uh, bro, you're from So, like, I'll hit him with the thighs, yeah. Oh, heck Would me. he, would I run at him? Yeah, just to give it a <laughs> shot, bro. Just a if shot. If you pay me, maybe, because he'd <laughs> fucking flog me. He'd probably <laughs> fucking, he'd probably <laughs> annihilate bro, me. While we're talking about pain, this got nothing to do with it. Can you push me into him? Like, can you I'm give me a boost? I'm happy to give it a go, bro. When, when you're in Sydney next, Lissy, let's give it a like go. Like, you, like, while I'm running, you boost me into him, Just that extra push. Yeah, I would definitely need that. Like, some extra power. Cause he kind of is like two people, so like. But I never seen him in person, but I can from videos. He's, he's a big boy. He's, 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 he's a big. I feel like he's, all of yeah, them. All, are all his whole crew are big boys. Yeah. Four three double O, shit, and they all got our back as well, bro. Four twenty fam, four three double O. We roll, we roll, we shout roll out together, to the bro. Queensland big, fellas, shout man. out to the boys. All right, we're going to Susan's son real quick, man. That was yeah, a, a yeah. really, a really important song to yourself. That's probably one of the favorites. Like, yeah. if we're talking like the tracks that are in the favorite conversations, that's one of them definitely. Yeah, it was a special moment. You got the hundred K for your mum. Or your family, logically, right? You've done a lot of good things over the time. We've seen you drop 10K on Women's Refuge. I know there's been a lot of other things that I can't name right now. And there's still people out there that might have things to say, like, he's doing it for the club. He's doing it. When, truthfully, you're helping your family out. If I could give 100K to my mum, I would shout it from a rooftop. How does it make you feel when you see these kind of things online? Do you just let it go or is it? I don't even have a comment. I don't even nah. care. Like, nah. yeah, fuck, I thought I don't even care. Yeah, nah. like, I, I gen genuinely, like, for me, like, do you know what I mean? As for the comments, I don't even notice.
even like I'm even even emotionally thinking about it. Like yeah. I manifested sitting in this garage that I'm sitting in with you right now, like as a child, writing raps and making money, and I gave my mother a hundred thousand dollars and a brand new car off it. Bro, it's big you know what I mean? Shit. Like yeah, like I, like people can say I flexed it, whereas I I consider it like instead of going and pay fifteen strippers and rent out some Ferrari to like a gangster. I just went and took my mum to a rooftop and made a song for her and just gave her a hundred grand, you know what the I mean? Clip itself, like, that can, to me, like I can personally consider like it to me is probably my biggest achievement in my career more than any like I won the Air Award for uh, like uh, album That's of the year one. this year. Um I've toured like and done numbers like in the in, in the six figure categories of tours, but like that for my mum and being able to do that, that's probably the biggest moment of my career so far. No. Yet yet to be topped. Definitely. Perfect answer, bro. And I hope you can keep doing more for your family because I'm yeah, sure that's the plan. bro, that, that's family ties. Right and more, more for myself and like I would like to have my own kids one day and like more for that, like even when we did like these other things. That's the thing as well, is like yeah. I don't do these things. I do these things because I believe in the laws of laws of attraction and manifestation and karma and things like that. Like like when you give, you gotta receive like when you give, you gotta take, you gotta take, you gotta give, you know what I mean? Like when you a lot of rewards, a lot of good things have come my way and I'm very humbled by it. I've been very I've worked very, very, very hard. Don't get me wrong, I've worked my ass off and I deserve every right to claim the position I've claimed, but I'm also very lucky and very humble that I have a large fan base. So that's why like, I try to give back. I'm just, I'm just looking to fucking let this album be streamed as much as right. I can and get Big it sold release. as much as I can. Yeah. And to give this plaque to a fan, to give that skateboard, like skateboard to some homies. Yeah. If it's not out already. To go. let my boy take flight, wear my Rolex. Let's go. To have bongs for okay. a living. To give 100 grand to my mum and just smile and make all you guys that watch this either enjoy, cringe, smile, laugh, hate, whatever it is, just bring some energy to your life and uh, contribute what I think my life, my goal in life and this, like my purpose in life is, which is music. Perfect dancer, bro. Yeah, well, that's it's a perfect it, time for Billy too. Right. I'll let you do your sign off while I have a All good, man. I appreciate you coming out. First episode in the cart. We're in your garage. Like, I don't think it'll get any more personal than this. So, shout out everyone for watching. Wings, chilling it, take flight. What's good? 420 fan, family ties.